Good evening, everyone. This is Mark Davis reporting for Weather Tracker Plus. And tonight we're going to discuss the possibility of a tornado outbreak tomorrow on the 29th of November. On the screen we have right now, we have the uh, latest SPC outlook. Uh, the red area is a moderate risk area that covers most of Mississippi, parts of Arkansas and Louisiana, and just a tip near Memphis of Tennessee. From that, we have an enhanced risk for Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And the slight risk area covers most of that area, plus a little bit more of a little bit of Texas and a little bit of Kentucky and Southern Illinois and some of Missouri. So basically what we're gonna have uh, tomorrow is we've got a, uh, and I'll show you the model runs. I'll show you both the composite uh, radar run and the um, significant tornado run uh, at the end of this. So basically what we got coming on here right now is we're going to have a, uh, let's show you the risk area for significant tornado. And that'll be coming up on the screen here. As you can see, it's a, a very large area of uh, chance of tornado. We've got uh, the highest risk, which is about 30% here, 15%, five and 2%. So there's a large area tomorrow to, between somewhere between, oh, two or 3 p.m. until uh, the overnight hours that there could be some significant tornado action in this area tomorrow. So everyone in this area is gonna to need to be fully prepared to be weather aware of what's going on around their uh, surroundings uh, during the day tomorrow. We will be live sometime tomorrow, uh, probably tomorrow afternoon sometime and uh, go live all the way through the end of this event. Uh, it should start to die out sometime after midnight as it moves further east. Behind this area is a very strong cold front with a lot of cold weather and cold temperatures are gonna uh, come across the whole eastern seaboard all the way down through um, Florida. So that's the tornado. Now let's show, show the wind area. The wind area is just as large as the tornado area. Uh, of course, um, there's some strong winds that are expected in this area. Uh, of course, straight line winds, you're gonna see on the up, up uh, the model run, you're gonna see the so, uh, little bits of pockets of clusters of severe thunderstorms. So each one of those has a possibility of some uh, strong winds. The hail area is not quite as, is a broad area, but not quite as, it's only a 15% area that uh, they're expecting uh, damaging hail. Uh, but this does co cover the whole area of the uh, slight risk area. So uh, you need to be prepared for some uh, large hail in this area also. So let's get on to the uh, model runs. First one I'm gonna show you is the um, composite radar. And uh, this is uh, the time's up here in the corner. This is 3 p.m. today. As it runs, you'll see uh, uh, the storms uh, progress around uh, maybe two o'clock in the afternoon where things start getting really, really popping here. Uh, here's noon, two o'clock. And as you can see, the whole area here is full of clusters of severe thunderstorms. That will continue uh, into the night, into the early morning, when then it forms a line along the cold front of uh, squall line. Okay, here we see the significant tornado parameter that's coming up on the screen. As you see, the time is in the upper right-hand corner. Here's uh, 6 a.m. this morning, and you see it's starting to grow in the area over Mississippi and uh, Louisiana, where the a significant chance of tornado in that area, as it fades down to 3 a.m., 6 a.m., and virtually gone by, by that time. So there could be some tornadoes overnight, and uh, it could be uh, kind of scary for uh, for those nighttime tornadoes because those are very dangerous, as you can see. So I'm going to conclude with uh, here's the uh, like I said the forecast. We'll update try try to update tomorrow morning when the eight o'clock comes out. Uh, that might change some of these parameters a little bit, maybe shift it east or west. So we'll make sure we keep you updated with that. So for now, this is Mark Davis for Weather Tracker Plus.